Hey guys, so today we're going to be discussing strobing. There's no real right or wrong way to do it, but there, there are ways that enhance your beauty a little bit more. So that's what we're gonna focus on today. Usually when I'm selecting colors for a deeper skin tone, I'm gonna look for the warmest colors. If, if the color's too yellow, too white, it's gonna look ashy on the skin. We don't want that. Ash is not our friend. Glow, highlight, warmth is our friend. So that's what we wanna go with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with a little blush to help warm her cheeks up, make it feel like a natural glow. Smile for me. I usually will have my client smile and then I'll work the apples of the cheeks. So now that we have a little rosiness to the cheek, I'm just gonna take the leftover foundation that was on our sponge from earlier and just dab it around the edge. This way it's gonna look like a natural blush and not like actual product on the face. My goal is always to make sure the uh, person in my chair is gonna still look like herself when she leaves. After you finish the blush step, you're just gonna add a little highlighter right on top of that. Um, I'm a painter, so I like to use a flat brush to put like a cream uh, highlighter. If it's like a liquid highlighter or a cream highlighter, I like to use a flat brush to start. So I'm actually dabbing some of the product off on the back of my hand just so that the very first touch isn't like so bold and then you can't blend it away. That's probably a mistake that a lot of us make. I usually like to tap directly onto the cheekbone just above where we put the blush. And then I take a tissue, I clean off the extra residue, not cleaning it completely, just dabbing it down. And then I feather away the edges. No one should see where your work begins or ends. And I got some of the product too far to the front of her face and all I'm gonna do is take a little foundation and smooth that back out. Cause remember, anything that this light jumps out at you, anything this dark falls back. So now I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna just use the product that I have left over on the back of my hands. This way, you're not gonna get too much highlight and I'm gonna use this to go right underneath the brow bone. The reason why I do it this way is because, I don't know, I just don't like the idea of your highlighter like overpowering your natural beauty. It shouldn't be, oh my God, her makeup is beautiful. It should be, oh my God, that woman is beautiful. And just kind of blend that through, remembering to hide all your our lines of demarcation, whatever you need to do, if you wanna use your finger, if you wanna, Wipe the brush off a little bit and then blend it with the brush. It's just your personal preference. So I'm just gonna take that same small brush. I'm gonna dab off some of the product on the back of my hand. And I'm just gonna make a line down the bridge of her nose. I'll usually take a clean finger, just wipe it off on the tissue. And I'll just blend the sides of the nose off. So that sharp line that we just made, we're just gonna soften that. So we're just gonna keep them in these subtle areas down the bridge of your nose, on your cheekbones, the highlight of your brow bone. Those are really flattering areas that just kind of make you look like you're glowing and young and fresh. Another way that you can highlight is with a powder highlighter. So we're just gonna take a little bit of our powder highlighter and dab it off on our hands and then right down the bridge of the nose the exact same way. I usually, if I use a powder, I'll go over that line with my finger first, kind of wipe it off. And you could also highlight right in the corners of your eye, which is just gonna kind of help to open the eye up a little more. So I'll usually take a tighter bristle brush to highlight the inner corners, and then a fluffier bristle to wash it across the rest of the lid. And remember, in the, these back corners, you always wanna dust towards the center. If you're dusting too, too much this way, the, the product is gonna fall all over everywhere. You're gonna have a lot of cleanup, and we want this to be as easy as possible. Okay, again, we started out with the liquid, and we're gonna take a little bit of the powder in the deepest color, tap, tap and dab. And I usually will take circular motions, and I'm just using my brush very, very gently. It's better to start off light and add a little more as you go as opposed to piling a bunch on and then having to take it down. 
So another little trick that I like to do is highlight above the cupid's bow. Take a little bit of product, dab it off on the back of our hand, and then subtly dab it across the tips of the lip. It's just gonna add a little contrast to whatever color you're gonna use, which is gonna make your lips look fuller. Okay, girl, so let's go through these steps again because I wanna see if you were paying attention and if you could do this on your own. So how are we gonna start that? We're gonna start out it's using a flat brush. Uh-huh. And do I go directly in? Now, one step that you don't wanna forget is to wipe some of the product off and then start because you can always add more later. Right onto the cheekbone, perfect. Somebody was paying attention, okay. <laughs> Beautiful. And how do I know when to stop? I think it's gonna be your personal preference, like however you feel. Do you feel like you wanna just be really highlighted or you wanna be subtle? As long as it's blended really well, you feather away the edges, then you're good. Where do we blend it from here? Under your brow bone? Exactly. So but you use a different brush. I did use a different brush. Okay. Is it better to work with the products on the back of my hand? It, sometimes it is. If, it's, if it hasn't dried yet, I usually will go there first just so that you don't make the mistake of having too much brow highlight. Perfect. Okay. So what I did is I used a tighter bristle small brush for the inner corners, and then I used a bigger brush to kind of wash it across. Okay, so for this one, I'm not sure about placement. So how did you right. know where to put it? If you see a little bit on the top, a little bit on the bottom, it just dusted across. Okay. Perfect. Exactly. And then I would take the larger brush and then wash it across. Beautiful. And it just kind of opened your eyes up, kind of made them pop a little more. So for the final step with the powder highlighter on top of the liquid highlighter, very subtle and gentle. Take a tissue, clean your brush off a bit, still with a little product but no excess product. Mm -hmm. Smoothing and wiping. So basically we're lifting a little bit of the product off but not completely taking it away. Wow, you saved me. Yeah. <laughs> so this look is really pretty. All she would need to do is add a little mascara, a little lip gloss, and she is ready to go.